Uh, so, Alex, the other day I saw a scene in a movie and I made you a drink. You saw a scene in a movie and you made me a drink. I thought of you and I made you this drink. So you watched a scene in a movie and it inspired you to make a drink. Uh, I guess making a drink is pushing it like I changed this Ichiko Shochu into something new. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm, I'm intrigued. <laughs> I guess the only way to guess what this could even be is to actually see the movie, well, see the scene. Okay. So I thought we'd watch it together and we'll try the drink. Cool. I don't even know what this movie is. Uh, this movie is on Netflix. Well, it's either a Netflix movie or they just bought it. Uh, called okay. it a Netflix movie. Jeez. But uh, yeah, it seems pretty high production. So. This has like old school Hong Kong martial arts movie vibes. With a... Uh, Hanging carcasses. Yeah. <laughs> and carvers. Meat carvers. Jeez. Uh, what would you call this place? A butcher. A butcher shop or like a meat... It's not, it's not a meat packing place. No, like a... Chopping up the meat at the back of a butcher. Yeah. Seems like it's kind of a staple location for uh, like action movies. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of uh, things for cutting, I guess. Yeah. So if you oh missed that, yeah, he literally just stabbed someone with a cow's <laughs> leg. <laughs> Whoa. And yeah, that is a bone. Now, what could I be drinking? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's one way to get the job done. You know, she's a uh, split in half thigh bone. It's a thigh bone, right? I don't know. A femur or something. A little bit Texas Chainsaw vibe. Like hanging from the meat hook. Uh, okay. Well, well, my first thought is um, here in Japan, I've seen izakayas dirtier than, than this scene. <laughs> okay, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so basically that movie is like that for about one hour and 45 minutes. So it's like John Wick, but with less guns and more poking and prodding. Mm, more poking and stabbing. With, uh, bones, and machetes. In impaling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a Netflix original movie. It's called The Night Comes For Us. That's a badass title. And the director is a pretty cool guy. I listened to him on a podcast once. He is from Indonesia, I think. It's an Indonesian movie. And he swears more than... Anyone I've ever heard of my time. <laughs> <laughs> he's got that sailor's mouth. I think he's got about his vocabulary is about sixty percent f bombs. I, I I can definitely imagine. I'm sure you can imagine from watching that. Um, I gotta admit, the suspense is really killing me. W what is in there? I it, see like little <laughs> like specks of pain. I see like pulp, pulp, and. Seeds. It's gonna be another like spicy death drink. All right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to smell it before I make it? Or? No, I'm good. <laughs> oh, I'm good. We're kind of drinking this with soda. I do not recommend drinking this. Just by looking at it, it looks. You know, refreshing. <laughs> so I, I know for certain that it's not refreshing. I would advise smelling it first. <laughs> oh, 
What the hell? <laughs> <coughs> if I can try to describe the sensation. So, I... <laughs> so I took a whiff of it, and at first, there was really nothing. And there is no scent, really, but no. after about two seconds, like the... Like, like the back of your sinuses start to mm. like burn intensely. Yeah. But there's no scent. It's like inhaling acid gas. <laughs> <laughs> is this like jalapeno? It's a lot worse than that. <laughs> is this Carolina Reaper? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Well, I found one fresh. And that's a rare thing. So this uh, this was made from a fresh Carolina Reaper. I put half a Carolina Reaper in the bottle and just left it for two hours. I timed it. I'm gonna dive in, I think. I would advise only sipping this. <laughs> I wouldn't take a gulp before we... <laughs> okay, well, here I go. Uh, come by. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even tried it yet. My throat is, like, yeah. singeing. Cheers. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. If you want to just pour it out the window, I won't be offended. Well, it's not bad. My lips are okay now. It's mostly in my throat. Uh, I put about that much in. So that much is soda. It, you know, it's actually bearable right now. If I were to be in the right state of mind, it might be pleasant. Like a, a movie scene state of mind? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. While we sample it, would you like to hear some information about the Carolina Reaper? And I actually have some Amazon uh, reviews of Carolina Reaper powder from Japanese people on Amazon Japan. That's interesting. Just as an update, this is kind of creeping up on me. Carolina Reaper is a cultivar of the Capsicum Chinins plant. It was developed by a complete crazy person, US breeder Ed Curry. Good name. Someone who would make a chili pepper. <laughs> yeah. The pepper is red and gnarled. 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 With a bumpy texture and a small pointed tail, like the devil. In 2013, the Guinness World Records declared it the hottest chili pepper in the world, surpassing the previous record holder, the Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea. Yeah, this kind of blew up in the past 10 years, didn't it? The sensory heat or pungency detected when eating a Carolina Reaper derives from the density of capsaicinoids, which relates directly to the intensity of heat and the Scoville scale. Some effects of this chili on some people. I gotta say, of all the mystery drinks you've made me so far, this one is the most drinkable. In April 2018, a case report of thunderclap thunder headaches in a 34-year-old man who was hospitalized a few days after consuming one Carolina Reaper of unspecified size in a contest. I just want to say, I suffer from migraine headaches. Th if this ruins my life, I'm coming after you. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have a flashback of this movie trailer here. This movie scene. You're going to stab me with a broken cowboy. Can you tell this was Ichigo? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Does it matter what alcohol it I use? It doesn't matter. <laughs> this could be water. Okay. All three reviews are 5 out of 5. This is a review of Carolina Reaper Chili Powder. When making Mabodofu... I tried putting four tablespoons of Carolina Reaper, five tablespoons of Korean powder pepper, and two hawk claws. Hawk claws? But my stomach hurts for two days. So I tried to sleep overnight in the refrigerator <laughs> and eat it later 
it became more spicy. <laughs> Conclusion is the best. Whatever that means. You slept in your refrigerator for two days. Became more spicy. You had a stomach ache for two days. It's the best. I think it probably means he let it chill in the fridge for two days. But instead of becoming more mild, it got spicier. Review number two. Number two. Title. It hurts or hurts. When I moved to a bottle, I said, beware of the splashes. But I failed to move the momentum and got out of Bosari. Bosari? And it became miserable. It is spicy. It is hard. Sprinkle it in the tone, in the buttocks of the mouth. And the next day, come into an Edai? Edai? Edai. Edai. Again. Does, does that sound like a 5 out of 5 star review to you? The buttocks of the mouth. I have no idea what it means. I'm finding it a little hard to breathe now. Next review. Welcome. Next and final review. <clears throat> Goodbye from Come By Guys. Of my life. I met the spiciness of a different dimension. A middle-aged man who is slightly resistant to spiciness. In terms of image, it is the next level to eat delicious and complete the Peyong prison spicy of yakisoba. We tried that. So I mixed this product with a teaspoon of regular Peyong. What? <laughs> I'm just reading it. As a result, the spiciness of a different dimension immediately hit the whole body. I ate a bite and felt so spicy that I felt the fear of what to do if I was carried by an ambulance <laughs> to eat it for a moment. Anyway, I was crazy and carried it to my mouth and eaten completely. <laughs> but the body is honest. The spiciness and the burning sensation of the body that I have never experienced so far have struck mercilessly. Dangerous if the state of this remains continuous for much after this. <laughs> Maybe an ambulance. And I thought seriously. I drank milk and settled until I could endure the last minute, about 15 minutes later. After that, my stomach screamed. I was lying down and I was rolling around the room with a rumbling laughs. If you are a first time, we recommend that you try your ear scratch first. As insane as this is, this does sound like someone who ate that noodle <laughs> and then added this to that. Who on earth would do that? You know, my favorite line from this is the line where he capitalized the first letter of every word for some reason. Like a Shakespeare line? Dangerous of the state that this remains continues for much after this. <laughs> My final thoughts is this drink is not half bad. It's super spicy, but it's bearable. However, after seeing these reviews and hearing your anecdotes about people having, what, thunderclap headaches? Thunderclap headaches, stomach cramps, going into other dimensions. I think I will tap out. I'll top out after about this much. So when I was making this, I think a tiny little either amount straight from it or like condensation. Yeah, it must have got through the glass and got onto my finger. And then when I obviously removed my contact lenses, oh, blew my eye sockets out. Oh my god. It didn't burn on the eyeball, it burned like around the eyeball. I've had similar experiences after touching jalapeno. <laughs> this is not jalapeno. It's not. <laughs> so, would you like a comp I score for this? It's not a one, right? I'll give it a five. Five? Really? I'll give it a five for the, the experience, not counting the anxiety, the severe pain. Right. Tomorrow the day after tomorrow. Factor that out and I'll give it a five. If you'd like to see more videos like this and you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. 
and please hit the bell notification icon for updates when we go live or post new videos. Alright, until next time. See ya.